Hello, Scorpios. This is your ex reading for the 24th through the 30th. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on with my Scorpios currently? Let's see what's going on for Scorpios. Scorpios. Scorpio. Hmm. I feel like some of you want to blast somebody's ass right now. Um, I think you want to, you know, th there's something that you want to learn the real truth about. Maybe somebody has told you something and you really, you know, they didn't come, like, come all out with it. Maybe you feel like they're hiding something. There's something that you guys, um, there's something that you want to know. There's something you want to talk about. You want to discuss this, I feel. Maybe you guys have broke up with somebody else. Or maybe it's this person that you want to discuss something with. But there's something here that I feel like um, you're wanting to get off your chest. You want some clarity on that. Let's see what your ex's current situation is here. Scorpio's ex current situation. Hmm. They're walking away from something. There's something that this person feels like, you know, this is not it for me. So there's something they're leaving behind that's not filling them. That's not, you know, making them feel good. Like it's not serving them anymore. So they're currently walking away. They feel like they put enough into something and they're just not, you know, reaping the benefit of it anymore. So they're choosing to leave it behind. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> how you view your ex. How does Scorpio view their ex? How does Scorpio view their ex? Oh my gosh. Hmm. You love this person. Maybe they just walked away from you. Some of you get some of you guys um like just recently broke up with someone i feel this person walked away from you and you felt like you know this person was your ultimate um happiness you know like in a relationship you felt like this was the one you felt like this was the one hmm maybe all's not lost here because the ten of cups has not shown up here like them starting over or you guys starting over um you know they they may come back but you love this person maybe that's what you want to talk about maybe that's what you want to speak on and then as i put this deck down i see the king of swords under the bottom of the deck here so i mean you know this is quite possibly you know your counterpart your partner Hmm. Let's see how your ex views you. How does Scorpio's ex view them? Scorpio's ex. Hmm. Maybe they feel like you guys are... Maybe they feel like you're stuck. Maybe they feel like you are... Um, a little defensive maybe stuck in your own ways maybe um, stuck in the past not willing to change not willing to move you know not willing to you know make that leap forward like maybe like you guys are looking at everybody else moving forward and you guys are not really you know making many strides here They may feel like you're even watching them, observing them. Some of them feel like you guys, you know, they, they, they know that you love them. And they know that you want to continue with them. Okay. Let's see what your feelings are about getting back together. How do you feel about getting back together with this person? How do you feel about getting back together, my Scorpios? Yeah, definitely. You know, you feel like this is this is the person that you want to share your life with. You want to share your time with. Hmm.
Yeah. I feel like you want to give this person like everything that they that they you know want and need. You like you want to be there for them through thick and thin. You want to ride this thing out with them. Offer your love to them. I think a lot of you just want this person to open their eyes up and accept you and accept the love that you guys share. Let's see how your ex feels about getting back together. It's raining cats and dogs here, guys. I don't know if you can hear it. Let's see how your ex feels about getting back together here. This person is really not with it right now. Um, I don't really think they're wanting to focus on reuniting. I think they are, this person probably is, is kind of over, um, not really over love, but I think they are just kind of depleted right now and they're really just not willing to budge. Um, Maybe they've been hurt before um, by you or someone else. But right now, I think they're just really kind of complacent um, and uh, being a little stubborn. Maybe they want things their way in order for you guys to reunite. Um, but they're, they're just really not willing to budge right now. I think they definitely have love for you. But I think this is their safe place and not really like get getting like involved deeply currently, okay? They're only wanting to drink from one cup here. See that cup that's full of wine? It's their cup. Loving themselves, okay? Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see how you can help this reconciliation along. How can my Scorpios help this reconciliation along? Hmm. If there's something that you need to tell this person, I think um, you need to speak up. I see here with the Queen of Swords, there's definitely something that you want to tell them. There's something that you want to discuss. Um, I feel like you want to know the truth about you know what happened, what really happened between you guys. And I think there needs to be a conversation, a truthful conversation here, okay, <clears throat> that you probably initiate. Let's see how can your ex help this reconciliation. How can your ex help this reconciliation? Hmm. Now you have two aces here falling right under each other. Either this person, um, I think they really need to accept what's being offered to them and realize because, you know, this hand is like, you know, this is my offering. And realize that this, this is made of gold here. So this is something legitimate. This is something genuine. This is something that could stand the test of time. The light is shining on this. I think, you know, they're just so closed off because they've probably been hurt. Um, and they're really not seeing, you know, they're really not seeing the significance in what you guys are offering to them. If you've offered anything, if you haven't offered anything, then it's time for you to take one of these pentacles and extend. If this is what you want, if this is what's going to bring this person, you know, around. All right. So let's see what the um, what the potential outcome is here for you guys. What's the potential outcome for my Scorpios? Potential outcome here for Scorpio and their ex. Mm. there's a potential for you guys to bring this into fruition definitely definitely um, this is like marriage here this is a strong committed relationship you guys but I feel like it's only if you can open up fully here and tell the truth tell your truth say what's on your mind 
And then this person is going to have to realize that this offer, whatever it is that you may extend to them, is something that is very grounded, stable, tangible, that they can hold on to, you know, for a long time here with this Ten of Pentacles, guys. Now, um, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to make this into an extended reading where when I pull the potential outcome and there is a very positive card here reflecting that, you know, you guys are likely to get back together, I'll pull card, another card to, um, to tell you when I feel like this could happen if these other things coming come into play okay but when that happens i will let you guys know and i will put that information in the description box where you can find that extended but for now that's it my friends and i will be speaking with you guys soon